Ministry of Labor. This is, these are the cardinal engine, particularly the center of economic growth in any given country. And it does not require hoppers, it does not require people to hook in. It's, it has enormous industrial relations machinery established for all of us to follow. When I hear some people coming out with some suggestions that are irrelevant, unacceptable, and not in tune with the dance that is on the platform currently. Your Excellency, we must always remember that Africa, Asia, and Latin America, we attained our independence through the struggle of the trade union movement, including this, our country. In Kenya, and in Kenya, we will always remember and forever celebrate our founding father of this nation, Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, who was part of the local government workers' union, now the county government workers' union. We must remember our several brothers from the Asian community. One of them was Mark and Singh, who championed for registration of the trade union in this country and in East Africa. Followed by Cheke Kibachia, Agre Minya, Thomas Joseph Mboya, Fred Kubai, Vicky Washira. Vicky Washira was very militant, a young man in Nairobi. And Ratibu Hussein from Kibera, he was also a young man who fought closely with the labor movement for us to attain independence. We had Pio Pio Gama Pinto, we had Ocholo Gai Makanyengo, we had Martin Shikuku, Kilimendi Lubembe, and Dennis Akuma, among others. These were all labor leaders before independence, including Fred Kubai. And across Africa, Your Excellency, trade unionists who spearheaded their countries to independence were John Tetiga of Ghana, Ahmed Lilo of Tunisia, Paul Humphrey Luanda of Uganda, Rashid Kawawa of Tanzania, Abdullah Diallo of Guinea Conakry, Demba Diop of Mali, as well as Cyril Ramaphosa, the current president of South Africa. These are the gallants, fearless fighters, people who set us free from the labor movement. And we must remember them. We must have their history. They were not people who had been appointed by government on various positions and they want to pretend to be labor leaders. Change this on. And Your Excellency, today's trade union movement has changed from agitation to scientific dialogue. That is why you don't hear us on newspapers. That is why you don't hear us fighting. We are busy with the employers in boardrooms, negotiating for good terms and conditions of service of our members. And Jacqueline is here. She can bear me a witness. In my own union, this year, I signed more than 44 CBAs to cushion workers from the cost of living. And some say, I told yeah, I a to party, he mze. Ni mze wa ujusi, mze wa kisasa. We have moved from issues of advocacy, agitation, and so on to impress upon dialogue between us and employers. And your excellence nowadays, because of digital economy, e-commerce, or platform economy as it is known, we research throughout Koto Education and Economic uh, Research Department to any enterprise before we engage employer. Tunaangalia huyu ametengeneza pesa ngapi. Na ile ya juu ndio tunakuja kumwambia bwana wewe kampuni yako imetengeneza pesa hii, hii umenunua gari, hii umefanya hii, hii umefanya hii pesa fulani, singine umepeleka Dubai, singine umepeleka Ulaya, na hizi zimebaki ndio sisi tunataka tugawanyane na wafanyikazi. We don't come to your 
office to, for some employers and Jacqueline is here blindly 